During the ministry of President Thomas S. Monson, he has often taught that decisions determine destiny. In Isaiah, we are taught we must refuse the evil and choose the good. I believe it is of particular importance in our day when Satan is raging in the hearts of men in so many new and subtle ways that our choice and decisions be made carefully, consistent with the goals and objectives by which we profess to live. My concern is not only about the big tipping point decisions, but also the middle ground and seemingly ordinary decisions where we spend most of our time. In these areas, we need to emphasize moderation, balance, and especially wisdom. In the Church, we encourage and celebrate truth and knowledge of every kind. But when culture, knowledge, and social mores are separated from God's plan of happiness and the essential role of Jesus Christ, there is an inevitable disintegration of society. In our day, despite unprecedented gains in many areas, essential basic values have eroded and overall happiness and well-being have diminished. When the Apostle Paul was invited to speak on Mars Hill in Athens, he found some of the same intellectual pretension and absence of true wisdom that exists today. In Acts we read this account, For all the Athenians and strangers which were there spent their time in nothing else but either to tell or to hear some new thing. Elder David A. Bednar recently cautioned members to be authentic in the use of social media. When using social media, we tend to broadcast the smiling details of our lives, but not the hard times at school or work. Sometimes in self-aggrandizing or a fake way, we share this life and then we consume the almost exclusively fake lives of our social media friends. How could it not make you feel worse to spend part of your time pretending to be happier than you are and the other part of your time seeing how much happier others seem to be than you? Sometimes it feels like we are drowning in frivolous foolishness, nonsensical noise, and continuous contention. When we turn down the volume and examine the substance, there is very little that will assist us in our eternal quest toward righteous goals. This life is the time to prepare to meet God. We are a happy, joyous people. We appreciate a good sense of humor and treasure unstructured time with friends and family. But we need to recognize that there is a seriousness of purpose that must undergird our approach to life and all our choices. In all things we should remember that being valiant in the testimony of Jesus is the great dividing test between the celestial and the terrestrial kingdoms. We want to be found on the celestial side of that divide.